the member from the 20th to move the amendment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move uh, Amendment 545. It has been moved and seconded that Amendment 545 be adopted. Remarks the good member from the 20th Legislative District, Representative Abarno. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, this amendment uh, would eliminate the repayment to the general fund uh, for trust program startup costs uh, that are dedicated to the trust account for the long-term care uh, payroll tax program. It also assumes that the program would be repealed uh, with House Bill uh, 1011, which is still alive today, uh, and hopefully we get an opportunity to vote for it. Uh, this long-term care trust program is unpopular. 63% uh, of our constituents voted against the establishment of a long-term care payroll tax program. And in the past year, we've had 475,000 plus workers throughout the state of Washington opting out of this program. Uh, it is very unpopular, and this amendment would help to make the general fund right uh, by, again, eliminating the repayment to the general fund from that dedicated account by assuming uh, that the program would be repealed and that the uh, payroll tax would not be collected. In addition to it not being popular, uh, the program itself is just unfair. It's an aggressive tax on uh, working uh, individuals throughout the state of Washington who are W-2 employees, regardless of their ability to pay the tax. Uh, if you're a family of, you know, two or three or four making $60,000, you're going to be paying $350 a year, $35 a month or $30 a month on this program with maybe never the possibility of ever using it. If you're close to retirement, you'll never use this program. If your spouse needs long-term care, maybe they were a stay-at-home spouse and you worked, uh, that income, which traditionally would be a community asset, goes into a program that they can never use because you can't transfer those long-term care services. If you're going to retire out of state, you'll never re use those services, and many will end up contributing more to the program than they'll ever get out of it in benefits. And that's why this amendment would assume House Bill 1011 would repeal the long-term care program as well as eliminate that transfer to the general fund and make it uh, 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 solvent. The other issue, in addition to it being unfair uh, and unpopular, is it's just inadequate. Uh, the program itself provides a benefit that many testified uh, would only provide several months' worth of care. It's very far from long-term care. It's actually short-term, and it gives the false sense to so many workers and families in our state that their long-term care needs will be uh, taken care of through this program. And for many, they'll never get that opportunity to opt out. So um, it's my hope that uh, we will pass this amendment. It's also my hope that we can repeal the long-term care program. There are a lot of folks in our communities that are struggling, and for some, 30 or $40 a month isn't a lot. But for so many in my community, that's a lot of money. And as the good gentleman in the 31st had mentioned about the, the inflation rate being higher than it was in 1981, well, I've got news for the good member from the 31st. Betty Davis Eyes, I think, was the number one song in 1981. And uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark was the best movie. So uh, I... I do hope that we pass this. I hope that uh, we set the general fund straight and that we repeal the long-term care payroll tax program.